In a world where trust and respect are essential, there are certain behaviours that should raise red flags. We have timeless wisdom from Stoicism for choosing the right life partner. In this video, we'll explore the profound insights of Stoic philosophy and how they can guide us in understanding the qualities to seek or avoid in a potential spouse. From the dangers of excessive materialism to the importance of empathy and personal growth, We'll delve into engaging and relatable examples to illustrate these valuable lessons. Lesson 1. Gossip and Negativity In the realm of Stoic philosophy, there is a cautionary tale about the perils of marrying a woman who indulges in gossip and negativity. The Stoics believed that such a woman could bring about great turmoil and unrest in a man's life. They warned that a woman who engages in gossip and negativity can sow seeds of discord and discontent, not only within the marriage, but also in the broader social circles. Her negative outlook and propensity for spreading rumors can lead to a toxic environment, causing emotional distress and undermining the tranquility that the Stoics held in high regard. To illustrate this lesson in a more relatable manner, Imagine a garden where the seeds of gossip and negativity are sown. Just as weeds can choke the life out of beautiful flowers, the toxic influence of such a woman can strangle the harmony and peace in a relationship. Her negative words and actions can poison the atmosphere, making it difficult for love and understanding to flourish. Therefore, the Stoics advise us to seek a partner who embodies virtues such as kindness, positivity and integrity as these qualities are essential for fostering a healthy and harmonious union. In essence, the Stoic warning against marrying a woman who indulges in gossip and negativity serves as a timeless reminder to choose a partner whose character aligns with the values of virtue and positivity. By heeding this advice, one can strive to create a nurturing and uplifting environment in which both partners can thrive and grow together. Lesson 2. Short-Term Pleasure Focus In Stoic philosophy, there is a cautionary lesson about the potential pitfalls of marrying a woman who is solely focused on short-term pleasure. The Stoics believed that such a woman, driven by immediate gratification and lacking in long-term vision, could lead a man away from the path of virtue and inner peace, they warned that a woman fixated on fleeting pleasures might encourage her partner to priorities momentary indulgences over the pursuit of wisdom, self-discipline, and enduring fulfillment. To illustrate this lesson in a more relatable manner, consider a ship without a steady course, constantly swayed by the changing winds and tides. A woman who prioritizes short-term pleasure is like an unpredictable storm, steering the ship off its intended path of purpose and meaning. The Stoics urge us to seek a partner who values the virtues of temperance, prudence, and a deeper understanding of what brings lasting contentment. By doing so, one can strive to build a life founded on enduring values and meaningful fulfillment, rather than being swept away by the fleeting allure of immediate gratification. Lesson 3 Emotional Instability In Stoic philosophy, there is a timeless warning about the potential consequences of marrying a woman who exhibits emotional instability. The Stoics believed that such a woman, prone to unpredictable and turbulent emotions, could disrupt the tranquility and harmony that they held in high regard. They cautioned that a partner's emotional instability could lead to a tumultuous and unpredictable relationship, making it challenging to cultivate the inner peace and stability that are essential for a fulfilling life. To illustrate this lesson in a more relatable manner, imagine trying to build a house on shifting sands. A woman with emotional instability is like an unstable foundation, making it difficult to establish a secure and peaceful home. The Stoics advise us to seek a partner who embodies emotional resilience, inner strength and a sense of balance, as these qualities are crucial for fostering a stable and harmonious relationship. 
By heeding this advice, one can strive to create a nurturing and emotionally supportive environment in which both partners can flourish and find lasting contentment. Lesson 4. Avoidance of Responsibility In Stoic philosophy, there is a profound warning about the potential challenges of marrying a woman who habitually avoids responsibility. The Stoics believed that such a woman, unwilling to take ownership of her actions and choices, could disrupt the stability and integrity of a relationship. They cautioned that a partner who shirks responsibility might lead to an environment of unaccountability and discord, hindering the development of a harmonious and virtuous life. To illustrate this lesson in a more relatable manner, consider a team where one member consistently avoids their duties, leaving others to bear the burden. A woman who habitually avoids responsibility is like a weak link in the chain, threatening the strength and cohesion of the partnership. The Stoics advise us to seek a partner who embraces accountability, integrity, and a sense of duty, as these qualities are essential for fostering a reliable and harmonious relationship. By heeding this advice, one can strive to build a life founded on mutual respect, trust, and shared responsibility, creating a solid foundation for a fulfilling and virtuous union. Lesson 5. Excessive Materialism In Stoic philosophy, there is a cautionary lesson about the potential challenges of marrying a woman who is consumed by excessive materialism. The Stoics believed that such a woman, overly focused on material possessions and external wealth, could lead a man away from the pursuit of inner virtue and tranquility. They warned that a partner fixated on materialism might prioritize the accumulation of possessions over the cultivation of wisdom, integrity, and a meaningful life. To illustrate this lesson in a more relatable manner, Imagine a traveler, burdened by an excessive amount of luggage, unable to move freely and enjoy the journey. A woman consumed by materialism is like an overwhelming load, hindering the pursuit of a simpler, more fulfilling life. The Stoics advise us to seek a partner who values inner richness, virtue, and a deeper understanding of what brings lasting contentment. By doing so, one can strive to build a life founded on enduring values and meaningful fulfillment, rather than being ensnared by the fleeting allure of material possessions. Lesson 6. Constant Need for Approval In Stoic philosophy, there is a cautionary lesson about the potential challenges of marrying a woman who constantly seeks approval from others. The Stoics believed that such a woman, driven by an incessant need for external validation, could lead a man away from the pursuit of inner strength and self-assuredness. They warned that a partner fixated on seeking approval might prioritis the opinions of others over the development of genuine self-worth, confidence and a steadfast character. To illustrate this lesson in a more relatable manner, Consider a sailor constantly adjusting the sails based on the changing opinions of onlookers, never steering a true course. A woman with a constant need for approval is like an unsteady compass, making it difficult to navigate the waters of life with conviction and purpose. The Stoics advise us to seek a partner who embodies self-assuredness, inner strength, and a sense of authenticity as these qualities are crucial for fostering a stable and harmonious relationship. By heeding this advice, one can strive to build a life founded on self-respect, confidence and a steadfast character, rather than being swayed by the ever-changing winds of external validation. Lesson 7. Lack of Empathy In Stoic philosophy, there is a cautionary lesson about the potential challenges of marrying a woman who lacks empathy. The Stoics believed that such a woman, devoid of the ability to understand and share the feelings of others, could disrupt the compassion and understanding essential for a harmonious relationship. 
They warned that a partner lacking empathy might lead to an environment of emotional disconnect and discord, hindering the development of a nurturing and supportive union. To illustrate this lesson in a more relatable manner, imagine trying to build a bridge without considering the needs of those who will cross it. A woman lacking empathy is like a bridge without support, making it difficult to establish a connection based on understanding and compassion. The Stoics advise us to seek a partner who embodies empathy, compassion, and a genuine understanding of others, as these qualities are essential for fostering a caring and harmonious relationship. By heeding this advice, one can strive to build a life founded on mutual understanding, support, and emotional connection, creating a solid foundation for a fulfilling and virtuous union. Lesson 8. Stubbornness. In Stoic philosophy, there is a cautionary lesson about the potential challenges of marrying a woman who is excessively stubborn. The Stoics believed that such a woman, unwilling to yield or compromise, could disrupt the harmony and flexibility necessary for a healthy relationship. They warned that a partner's stubbornness might lead to an environment of rigidity and conflict, hindering the development of a cooperative and understanding union. To illustrate this lesson in a more relatable manner, consider a tree that refuses to bend in the wind, risking breakage rather than yielding. A woman with excessive stubbornness is like an unyielding tree, making it difficult to weather the storms of life together. The Stoics advise us to seek a partner who embodies flexibility, understanding, and a willingness to compromise, as these qualities are essential for fostering a harmonious and cooperative relationship. By heeding this advice, one can strive to build a life founded on mutual respect, adaptability, and a willingness to work together, creating a solid foundation for a fulfilling and virtuous union. Lesson 9. Resistance to Growth In Stoic philosophy, there is a cautionary lesson about the potential challenges of marrying a woman who resists personal growth. The Stoics believed that such a woman, unwilling to evolve and improve, could disrupt the journey toward wisdom and virtue. They warned that her partner's resistance to growth might lead to an environment of stagnation and missed opportunities, hindering the development of a fulfilling and purposeful union. To illustrate this lesson in a more relatable manner, consider a garden left untended, where the flowers wither and the soil becomes barren. A woman resistant to growth is like an untended garden, making it difficult to cultivate a relationship that flourishes and bears fruit. The Stoics advise you to seek a partner who embraces personal growth, learning, and self-improvement, as these qualities are essential for fostering a dynamic and fulfilling relationship. By heeding this advice, one can strive to build a life founded on mutual support, encouragement, and a shared journey toward wisdom and virtue, creating a solid foundation for a fulfilling and harmonious union. Lesson 10. External Event Focus In Stoic philosophy, there is a cautionary lesson about the potential challenges of marrying a woman who is excessively focused on external events. The Stoics believed that such a woman, constantly preoccupied with external circumstances beyond her control, could disrupt the tranquility and inner peace essential for a harmonious relationship. They warned that a partner fixated on external events might lead to an environment of anxiety and instability, hindering the development of a resilient and balanced union. To illustrate this lesson in a more relatable manner, consider a sailor constantly fretting about the changing weather, unable to find peace in the journey itself. A woman excessively focused on external events is like a sailor, consumed by the uncontrollable elements, making it difficult to navigate the waters of life with calm and purpose. The Stoics advise us to seek a partner who values inner tranquility, resilience, and a focus on what is within our control, as these qualities are essential for fostering a stable and harmonious relationship. By heeding this advice, 
one can strive to build a life founded on mutual support, inner strength, and a shared focus on what truly matters, creating a solid foundation for a fulfilling and virtuous union. Lesson 11. Stubbornness. In Stoic philosophy, there is a cautionary lesson about the potential challenges of marrying a woman who is excessively stubborn. The Stoics believed that such a woman, unwilling to yield or compromise, could disrupt the harmony and flexibility necessary for a healthy relationship. They warned that a partner's stubbornness might lead to an environment of rigidity and conflict, hindering the development of a cooperative and understanding union. To illustrate this lesson in a more relatable manner, consider a tree that refuses to bend in the wind, risking breakage rather than yielding. A woman with excessive stubbornness is like an unyielding tree, making it difficult to weather the storms of life together. The Stoics advise us to seek a partner who embodies flexibility, understanding and a willingness to compromise as these qualities are essential for fostering a harmonious and cooperative relationship. By heeding this advice, one can strive to build a life founded on mutual respect, adaptability, and a willingness to work together, creating a solid foundation for a fulfilling and virtuous union. In conclusion, the Stoic philosophy offers timeless wisdom regarding the qualities to consider when choosing a life partner. Whether it's avoiding excessive materialism, seeking empathy, or valuing personal growth, the underlying message is clear. A harmonious and fulfilling relationship is built on mutual respect, understanding, and a shared commitment to virtue. By heeding these lessons, one can strive to cultivate a partnership founded on resilience, adaptability, and a focus on what truly matters creating a solid foundation for a fulfilling and virtuous union.